sub YouTube, sneakertubetv.com. SF Man 2 3 coming back at you. Another sneaker session. Right here, I got a package that came in today. I'll open it up and show y'all what that is a little later. Right now, going with today is uh, my collections of the Air Jordan 19s. All right, some of the uh, special editions. Been promising y'all a couple of videos. I've been trying to shoot them out, and uh, here we're gonna get right into it. All right, all these size 11 and a half. Well, this box actually says 11, but they're size 11 and a half. Down here, size 11 and a half. All right, 11 and a half. Anyway, let's get into the shoes real quick. Now these right here are some of my favorites right here. All right, uh, I mentioned before in my videos that the Jordan 19 was one of my favorite shoes. I think next to the uh, 14, I think maybe uh, 14, 12, 19, some of my favorite shoes. But uh, some of my first Jordans I started to pick up back in 2004 is kind of when I got started. I don't have any OGs. Uh, so I just started picking them up from there. Uh, I think I, no, actually late 2003. And I'll show the, uh, the 18s later. But I like this shoe and my first pickup was actually this one right here. So when I saw this one right here, I had to pull these out of the, uh, kind of have my shoes in the uh, plastic or in the webbing still, or then the bags that they came with. Some of them I have in the, uh, in the zip locks. As you guys see, but I like this shoe when I saw it just because just just the color popped to me. Uh, it's a little dull right now because just not pulling them out the box. Uh, had them uh, stored in stored, so I told you I would bring them out. But uh, you know, you guys know I got that patent leather shine right there to it. But I just like the colorway of them. All right, and I just wanted to show you guys. But this was this is probably the I think it was the. Th third pair of Jordans I actually picked up because I wasn't really i I'll be honest with you I wasn't really a, a Jordan fan I just I just couldn't afford them back in the day but uh start picking them up at number 17 okay and uh just wanted to show y'all but I like the color the colorway of this one sit out to me and then my second pair I think I got was uh actually I picked these up first and then that was actually my second pair over here this right here, man. These all this stock. I think I have the only ones out of these I've worn are these right here. Okay, but I keep my shoes in good condition. But I like these. These are just a comfortable shoe when you wear it. But this stock right here. Alright. Beautiful shoe, man. Just beautifully crafted shoe. With this mesh right here, I mean, and then it just pops with the patent leather. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light, but it just pops right here. Love this shoe. Comfortable. Haven't worn it yet. I just wore it around the house, but I'm going to put this in my uh, sneaker showcase. Okay, and uh, these might not ever get worn, ever. So what I will do is wear the East Coast editions of these. You know, you guys know they had the Midwest, West Coast, East Coast. Okay. But this right here pops, man. I mean, it's just patent leather on these. It's just, ooh, it's a nice shoe. That's all I can say, and I love this shoe. I said this, the 19 is one of my best right here. Dead stop, dead stop. Never worn, never worn, man. See, my philosophy is uh, if I buy a pair of shoes, I'll probably wear them, uh, I'll, I'll wear them. But I started to wear so many, or actually buy so many, that with me being in the military, I, I wasn't really home a lot to actually wear them. So I just started to order them, just collect them. They just started piling up and piling them up. So now, I think these came out in 2004. These the same, all of them came out kind of in the same year, I believe. And uh, they're going to get worn. Probably the ones that are going to get worn. These will never get worn. I might rock these one day. And all three of these. And there you have it right here. So right here is another one. I had to bring it out the bags a little dull. 
but when this condensation uh, leaves it, okay, uh, you'll see how the pat leather just kind of shines on it, just like these right here. I'm blinging. It's a Lakers edition. It's a nice shoe too, man. So I love the 19s. 12, 14, 19. So I got a, I got so much coming for you guys. Uh, again, no OGs, but just collection of shoes from. Uh, and I've even got a chance to get some of the, you know, like the retros are coming out, like threes. I got a couple pair of sevens when they came out in uh, 2006. Like I showed you guys the uh, Cardinals. I did a video on that earlier. Okay, and I'm going to cop the re-retros this year. But it's time to start rocking these. So, so when I build up my 2009 collection, my 2010, and now 2011, I start to bring everything out from 04, 05, and 06. All right. So I just wanted to show this real quick to you guys. Tell me, get, tell me what you think. Tell me what other shoe you would like to see or more of or how you would like for me to kind of showcase these shoes. But I told you before that I had a, I had a nice little collection going on. And then my collection of my 14 is pretty deep too. I think I'm, I think, well, how many colorways do I have of that? I think I have about five or six of those. So when I get those together, you guys are going to see, man. But tell me, man. Tell me that. Tell me if these don't. It's a hot shoe, and I just can't find myself to wearing it, but I want to wear it just because I know they'll get a lot of attention. But actually, you can consider these OGs anyway, okay? Because they haven't, be, haven't been re retro, but if they ever do re retro it, besides the countdown pack, but you know, but that was that was different. Now, I don't have the black pair, but I know I'm gonna find them. Yeah, I don't have the black for the stealth as you know the all black ones that Jordan usually comes out with but I'll find them there they'll be easy cop but when I saw these I just like these and I actually uh working on getting the west coast edition the uh not um, excuse me the midwest you know the one that has the red on it okay and uh I'm working on some right now to see if I'm gonna cop those uh I've got so many shoes that I want to get right now that that's on the list but think from what you can see right now and I have enough 19s to be satisfied but I like these when I saw them so I had to get them like first I was just was going to settle on these and then when I saw the special edition I said oh man it's an, it looks nice I mean this is kind of big right here but it's a real comfortable shoe if you never if you never owned a pair try them on you try them on a comfortable shoe then I saw the Lakers edition then you had the East Coast edition actually actually Actually, I'm tripping because I actually have those. You know the ones that has in the colorways, like the old, uh, the old uh, Nets colors when the uh, kid used to play with them. It had like that uh, gray and then a red in it. Oh man, I, you know what? I'll just I'll just pop it out in like another video that I do later and show you that I do have them. Uh, I don't know why I was tripping. Why I didn't bring it out? But uh, but you guys know what colorway I'm talking about. That gray right here really had it. really really stand out. But man, <laughs> once again, baby, the 19s. 19s quality all that quality leather right here patent leather look at a mesh you know so if you guys want to see another more detailed video of this shoe uh just comment on this uh video man just comment because i start to make these other videos i just kind of want to pump out these shoes but uh you know give a good presentation because like i said when i told you before I had a collection of the same shoe, just multiple colors. You guys see I'm not playing, okay? And these are all dead stock. I think if there's any Jordans that I wore, I think it had to have been the Alphas. These right here are the black ones that you see. I wore a pair of the Spizikes, the black cements. I got a collection of the Spizikes too coming. Uh, haven't wore any of the 12s. I'm rocking the 2010 Chicago 13s right now because I got two pair of those. I made a video earlier. I got two pairs of those, but I'm going to showcase those. So I'm rocking them because those are comfortable shoe. And another shoe, Jordan, that I no, actually, probably I just be rocking my mellows. Actually, my tens. I actually rock the uh, steel tens. So, but it's time to rock them, man. It's time to wear them. Okay. 
it's time to definitely wear these shoes. Uh, I would like to wear these shoes a lot, but again, where I'm stationed at right now, I'm in Hawaii right now, so I don't really want to mess them up. So I'm just waiting to get back to the uh, mainland. I'm definitely going to be worn. Definitely for 2004 and five shoes, they're going to definitely get rocked because I'm going to start to build up my uh, stock, my 2009 and 10 and 11 collections. Okay. Again, please like, comment, okay, and subscribe. Okay, I'm just going to keep on making more videos and, you know, so shout out to all the people that I'm subscribed to. Thanks for uh, commenting on my page, uh, Jump Man, Sneaker Jokes, Mr. Uh, Sneakers 2 3, a couple other people. Appreciate it very much. Okay, and I'm looking out for you guys' video. But uh, tell me what you guys think, man. Okay, the Jordan 19s. SF Man 2 3, I'm out. Peace.